Never happens to you, Paul. But uh, so that's what's changing now. Before I, in moving from fitness and health, yeah, um, I wanted to show you something that I just saw a few weeks ago, and I was really awestruck by it. And that's being able to track vital signs in any individual in a hospital at any any uh, time. And this is just, uh, of course, through the phone. And uh, just to go right to it here. Uh, this is a patient happens to be in Texas in an intensive care unit. And I'll just pick one of these patients. And this is the vital signs of this patient. That's We've amazing. disguised the name for HIPAA purposes. Of course. But uh, this has the heart rate, the rhythm, the blood pressure continuous, oxygen, temperature, beat by beat, real time. And that's pretty remarkable. You can track any patient it's like, Star uh, like Trek. this. You know what's really scary? Is, you know how... We check our email, yeah. we can sit there with a band-aid on in the next year, we'll be checking all our vital signs. Can you imagine that? No, that's frightening. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's in the hospital. Yep. We want to keep people out of the hospital. A hospital bed costs more than the presidential suite at the Wynn or Encore Hotel. Okay, so we've got to keep people out of the hospital. The number one cause of hospitalization and readmission in the United States, heart failure. Yep. Now, we've got a wireless solution uh, for that. I think uh, we're going to be testing that, and that's this PIX device. And I happen to be wearing one of these, and I've got one in my bag. Kind of goes like that. I'm wearing it just like that. And uh, we can put it on as to what it shows, I think. Okay, here we go. Uh, so that's my heart rhythm up top, and uh, my heart rate is 75, so I guess I'm not too nervous here. Uh, now, the thing to the right of that is the bioconductance, which is the tissue conductance telling us about the fluid status of the patient, which is so critical for someone with heart failure, okay, to keep them out of the hospital. And then the, the, uh, the little avatar at the bottom, yeah. that's uh, telling the, per the person's position and activity at all times. Yeah. So that's, again, another important feature for someone with heart failure, how many pills they're putting on at night when they're trying to sleep yeah. and if they're moving around. So all kinds of tracking information, continuous for heart failure, and we'll be trying to test to see whether we can reduce hospital admissions, readmissions. So that's a Great. $37 billion a year in this country for heart failure hospitalization. Okay, so now moving forward on this, um, we know there's 140 million Americans with at least one chronic disease, like heart failure. And there are approaches with these wireless band-aid body area networks to all the top 10 major diseases that affect uh, uh, the public. So this is really uh, very exciting and very pervasive, as you can see. Yep. So I know you're very inventive. We heard about your patents earlier. But you may have followed Time had the, the top 50 inventions of the year. And uh, one of them, number 14, was the uh, GE V-Scan. Now, this is pretty remarkable, and I have to say, I hope it's going to work, but this is the first time it's ever been demonstrated in a, in a uh, live uh, setting. Really? And, you know, this is an Echo machine that is like a refrigerator. It costs about $300,000. Now it's like the size of a cell phone. That's okay. a big, so that looks like a PDQ, maybe. Yeah, an old, older version, I know, I know, older <laughs> version. But let me see if I can demonstrate what an image looks like um, in this. Uh, uh, i got to get a little, little goop here, put that on. He's not gel. doing it to me, he asked, yeah. I said no. Yeah, he didn't volunteer for this <laughs> one. By the way, you know, this is replacing or putting this aside, the old stethoscope been around since 1816. Yeah, we call those buggy whips. <laughs> well, let me see if I can uh, show you my echo here. I hope. And, uh, let's see. Let me just give this a quick refresh. <laughs> Demo well, gods are with us. It, yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh, we're waiting that to warm up. Anybody from GE out in the <laughs> audience? <laughs> and uh, should be 
Funny how that always works before you get out I to know, show it. A, that's definitely I, true. I put extra pressure on since I said it had never been done before. So. <laughs> um, but hopefully just to say. All right. And uh, what I want to be wrapping up with is another form of imaging as we get this loaded, whereby, we here go. we go. So I'll show you my heart. Here it is. There is one in there. Um, Now, I know not everybody is uh, facile with interpreting these images, but this is an exquisite image, if I could say so. It's comparable to any regular hospital echo machine. This shows my, my muscle contracting really very well, probably a little bit more since the demo wasn't working initially. <laughs> um, it shows a delicate mitral valve. It's like a parachute that's closing. It, mine's a little elongated, and the aortic valve. And I could show you, you know, a lot of things and put color flow on, but this is a pretty Very incredible cool. gizmo. Amazing. And you know what? People are going to be doing their own echoes, sending it to their doctors in the yeah. not-too-distant future. Unbelievable. But that's going to require moving images. <laughs> and uh, just to go along that, the company and Great Connections in Sweden have figured out how to move these images through smartphones. Okay. And so they have started with this mobile me. This is a woman who is 20 weeks pregnant at the Mamma Mia Clinic in Stockholm, Sweden. And this is transferring uh, her fetal image, which is, is being done right at the time of the ultrasound, yeah. distributed to, the, to, the doc. to their doctor, uh, family, uh, whoever is interested. And here it is. Facebook? Facebook, Twitter, you know, the whole social network scene. And let me just show... Sign show. the kid up for a Facebook <laughs> account right away. Show this image right now. And uh, we'll do that. There we go. And you know, this is the lucky one. These babies that are coming into the world in this new wireless world, incredible. Unbelievable. Incredible. So, just to wrap this thing up, you know, this is an amazing time in medicine, and it's taking charge of one's health. Wireless sensors and body area networks, and these things of imaging and metrics, are empowering consumers to take charge of their health like nothing ever before. Yeah. So, we're moving into an exciting, new era of innovation and consumer-driven healthcare. That's awesome. Well, thanks very much for sharing that vision. Also amazing products there.